This is our beet section. I started tying up some more of the squash. The squash is really getting with it. Put a few more clips on it. I want to just grow it up the string and then let it flop over and back down to the ground or wherever it wants to go. Um, I'm going to pull out half the beets today and then the other half of the beets I'm going to leave for next week because I just don't want that many in my kitchen at one time. And then we're just going to stand back because these squash are going to take over the entire thing, which is what I want. So we're going to keep clipping them up. Oh, what do I see here? Okay, right there, game on. Squash bug eggs. One of the nice things about growing vertical is you can really keep an eye on these things. I'll put that one in my pocket because my jar is far away. I go home with very strange things in my pockets. Okay. If you're looking for the actual squash bugs, they tend to like it hotter and they'll be out during the day. And if you're just hunting eggs, then you can hunt them anytime. You actually have a three week window typically. That will get shorter as your night temperatures are higher uh, to get those eggs. And then the nymph stage, the little guys, you can get those as well. Um, and you can actually take the nymphs out with some safer soap. And that's the, uh, the baby squash bugs, the nymphs. Okay, these guys are really starting to get lengthy. Oh, there's some more eggs. More goodies for my pocket. God, I reached my coat pocket this morning and I felt it. And there was something round and squishy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what's in my pocket? So I actually reached into the pocket, pulled it out, and it was three cherries because the cherry season is on. So I was glad it was cherries and not something weird. Okay, I see a squash bug and it is hiding right there. That's what they look like. Hiding there in my clip. I uh, don't want to squish it because it will stink to high heaven. So I'm going for the jar. Be right back. Okay, in the jar it goes. So he was hiding in the clip. That was interesting. Of course, it is warming up, so they're coming out. But, you know, it's a pretty good game. It's like, who's going to win? You or the squash bug. So you want to be vigilant. You want to cook them, put them out in the sun. And then we got this one growing on the ground here, too. And you want to look on the back sides of it. But, like I say, it's pretty easy when you can move them around, pick them up. There's some eggs right there. Now this guy will grow into the ground. See right here? There's a root there and I got a root here. So eventually we won't be able to pick it up because it's going to root to the ground. These guys in the air, they won't root to the ground. They'll, they'll keep their roots dormant. Okay, every leaf, every day. You just want to keep at it. It's just part of the game, part of being organic. I'm not willing to smother my food in chemicals. I'd rather just not grow any. So if I can't win organically, I'm not going to play. That's just my bottom line. Okay, I think we got the squash bugs. Let's get some beets. <laughs> 